Hello friends, welcome back to tutorial on Splunk. In our last video we have set up Splunk deployment server, created deployment apps and server class. Today we will be setting up inputs.conf and outputs.conf. On the Splunk forwarder machine, go to slash opt slash Splunk forwarder slash etc slash apps. You will be able to see the deployment apps Linux files which we have created in our previous tutorial on the deployment server. Under Linux files go to local and you see only app conf. Now go back to the deployment Splunk server. On the Splunk deployment server machine, go to slash opt slash Splunk slash etc slash deployment apps slash Linux files slash local, we will create a new file inputs.conf. The file inputs.conf will define what has to be monitored and pushed to Splunk indexer. going to monitor the log files under slash var slash log. The logs will be sent to index security, make sure you have the index created in Splunk before you use. Follow the instructions as you see on the screen. The next step is to create outputs.conf. The file outputs.conf will define to where the logs to be sent, so we need to mention the indexer details in the outputs.conf. Follow as per the instructions. created both inputs and outputs configuration files in the deployment server. Restart the deployment server and the files will be pushed to the Splunk forwarder client. You can see the input 
inputs and outputs files are available now under the folder apps slash Linux files slash local in Splunk forwarder client. Now if you go to settings, data inputs, under files, and directories you will be able to see three log files which we have added as part of inputs configuration file. search app and run the search using index equal to security, and other parameters. Try out by yourself using different fields. We will see in the next tutorial on how to import logs from Windows machine. Thank you for watching. If you like the video kindly subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up.